Hello, you've reached the next episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems, and today we're working on Module 1, Lesson Number 7, and today we are rounding multi-digit numbers to the thousands place, and we are using vertical number lines to do that. So let's take a look at maybe three problems from tonight's homework, and hopefully that'll get you started and you'll be able to get going on your own homework for this evening. Let's take a look at a couple problems from Number 1. Number 1 asks us to do the following. It says, Number 1, round to the nearest thousand. Use the number line to model your thinking. Okay, well, let's take a look at a couple problems here in number one. I'm thinking we'll do problems uh, B and D. So let's take a look at problem number D. I'm sorry, 1B. 1B asks us to round this number, 4,180, and we are rounding to the nearest thousand. So the first question I would ask myself is, how many thousands are there in 4,180? Well, it looks like there's 4,000. So that gives me the basis, the bottom part of my vertical number line. And what's one more thousand than 4,000? Well, if we had 4,000, we added one more. That would be, let's see, that would be 5,000. Okay, so 5,000. Excellent. And now we've got to find the midpoint, the midpoint between 4,000 and 5,000. Well, let's see. i got to find some number here that's going to be halfway between 4,000 and 5,000. So what I usually do is I usually look over to the next digit here, the next digit, the hundreds digit, and say, what's halfway from 0 to 10 in, the, in that next digit? And that's 5. So I think I'm going to have 500. And let's see. Um, let's see, we've got 4,000 all the way to 5,000, so halfway between them is going to be 4,000 and 500. So basically, we just take the next place value over, and we take a, we use a 5 there. We go halfway up. And so then once we've taken the bottom number plus half of the next number, the next place value, in other words, a 5, we'll get a midpoint. So this is 500 away from 4,000 and 500 away from 5,000. So that's the midpoint. And now all that's left is to figure out which is this number closer to. So 4,180, is that above or below 4,500? And I can see by looking at the hundreds place, 500 is greater than 100. And so I know that that number is going to be somewhere down here, 4,180, right? That it's going to be less than our midpoint. And that means that it is closer to 4,000. And we've got our answer, 4,180 is approximately the same as 4,000 if we're rounding to the nearest thousand. Let's take a look at D and see how that works on this one. I'm going to give you a moment to think about that. How many thousands are there in this number? Well, actually, it's a little bit of a tricky question, right? If you look just at the place value, there's 8,000s there. But remember, we would read this as 78,000. So we would say that there are 78,000s in that number. And if we added one more thousand to that, let's see, 78. What's one more than 78? Oh, that'd be 79,000. Now, again, we have to look at the midpoint. We know it's going to start with the same number of thousands as the bottom number. And again, all we need to do is look over the next place value, that's the hundreds, and insert a 5. Let's see if that works. Let's see. How many hundreds would it take to get from here to here? Oh, that would take 500. And if we went 500 more than this, if we added 500 to that number, we would get, yep, 79,000. So I think that's our right midpoint. Now let's take a look at our number, 78,600. So we compare that with our midpoint, 78,500. Oh, that tells us right away it's going to be somewhere up here, right? 78,600 is going to be somewhere just above 78,500 on our vertical number line. And that means it is closer to this number than it is to this number, and thus 79,000 is our approximate value of 78,600 if we're rounding to the thousands. Beautiful. Let's take a look at one more problem from tonight's homework. This one's a story problem. We always use our read, draw, and write strategy with story problems, right? So let's take a look and see what we can do on our first read. Marsha's brother wanted to help us with the first question on his homework. Oh, that's nice. The question asked the students to round 128,902 to the nearest thousand and then explain the answer. Marsha's brother thought that the answer was 128,000. Was his answer correct? How do you know? Use pictures numbers, or words to explain. Well, I'm going to draw and do a vertical number line to help us figure this out, right? That's how we've been working on this one. And let's see, so we've got a bottom number, a top number, and a midpoint. We're, we know we're rounding, let's see, are we rounding to, yep, yep, to the nearest thousand. How many thousands are there in this number? Ah, 
Aha! There are exactly 128 thousands in that number. So 128 thousand. Let's add one more thousand to that. 128, 129 thousand. Awesome. And now let's find the midpoint. Well, we're going to start with the basis of our bottom point, and then on our next place value over, we're estimating thousands, so we look to the right, and we say in the hundreds column, let's have a five, and let's test that out. To get from this value to this value, well, you would have to go up by one, two, three, four, five hundred. And if we went up by five hundred more, one, two, three, four, five, yep, sure enough, we'd get to 129,000. And now let's see, what was the number we were estimating? Let's see, we've got to go back and look. We've already done our reading. Now we're kind of rereading now that we've got our drawing. Let's see, we were estimating, oh, 128,902. 128,900. Oh, okay, so that means we're way up here, right? 128,902 would be somewhere up here greater than 128,500. It's 128,900. So we are much closer to this number. And hey, Marsha's brother, I mean, it was really nice of him to try to help us out, but hey, his answer was 128,000. I would have to say he, oops, got to get my pen out. He was incorrect. The vertical number line, oops, the vertical number line, number line shows us that it is closer to 129,000. Awesome. And we've got our picture, and we've written our sentence, and we're done with our read, draw, and write strategy. Awesome. Well, I hope this has been helpful, and I hope it gets you going with your homework. Please join me again next time on another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Thanks.